And that's a wrap for today's episode of Everyone's Welcome to Everyone's a Millionaire podcast, where and we explore the world of wealth and finance and provide insights Welcome and inspiration to, to help Everyone's a Millionaire podcast, your financial where we goals. explore the world of wealth Do you ever dream of becoming a millionaire but don't know where to start? To or perhaps you're already your on your way to accumulating goals. significant wealth. Do you ever dream of becoming a millionaire but want to learn more about the strategies and habits of or other successful you're already on millionaires? Your... In this Goals. podcast, Do you ever we'll dream bring of you becoming interviews a millionaire with successful but don't know entrepreneurs, investors, other and financial experts, millionaires. as well as in this research-based podcast, we'll insights and practical tips to help you build and grow your wealth. And financial we'll cover topics such as, as how to well invest in stocks, real estate, and, and other assets, to how to manage debt and, and grow save for retirement, wealth. and how to build we'll cover a topics mindset such as how to invest in stocks, and real estate, whether you're just starting out on your financial journey, or you're a seasoned investor already looking for new insights. Insights and ideas. Whether you're everyone's just a out millionaire on your is the journey, podcast or for you're a you. Seasoned so sit back, relax, and join us for as new we insights and the ideas. Fascinating world. Everyone's of a millionaire is the podcast for you. Or you're a seasoned investor. So sit join us new- as we. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Everyone's a Millionaire. Today, I am super excited and blessed to not only have a beast in the business. But a really good friend of mine, Mr. Jamil Damji, joining me. Jamil, what's up, buddy? How are what's you? What's up, baby? How you doing, David? Good to see you. Man, we've, we've known each other a long time. I, You know, it was so funny. I looked back at um, an old podcast. You were like one of the first people to, to ever put me on a podcast. You know that? Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, you were. Because like this was like back in the day before anybody knew who the hell I was. And um, my my assistant, Carly was communicating with you and you had a podcast and she was like, Hey, you want Jamil on your podcast? And you were like, I don't know who the hell he is, but sure. And so, um, I was on, I was on your podcast and I, I remember you were like, you were so fun. You were super down to earth. And I'm like, you know, the, I like, actually really like that guy. He's like, I, he's somebody that I would be friends with. And then we became friends and, you know, we, we hung out a bunch of times in real life. And so, you know, here we are, I don't know, seven ish years later. And, Still homies, and you just had a baby? Yeah. Having one. Having one. Okay, okay, wait. Hold on a second. What did I see then? What were those so photos? That was just an announcement. It was an announcement. Oh, see, I'm like scrolling too fast because like <laughs> I already knew. Okay, that's what's up. I already knew you were you guys were pregnant. You did because we you, saw each other about, about, about in St. Louis. Yeah. And yeah. then so you announced it on Facebook, and then the next scroll was a baby picture. That's right. And so that's oh, why that's I was right. like, I got I got confused. I'm like, oh, they had the baby already, but yeah, because Julia was small when I saw. I was like, how the heck did she squeeze a baby out of that? That we fast? so we're not due till well, we got four and a half months, so September. So we okay. still got some time. We're halfway, give or take, you know, through the process. But well, congratulations, bro! Super that exciting, is, that man! Is Thank so you. cool, bro! This so is our cool. first, so yeah, we are we are pumped. So this podcast is about trying to help those achieve a million dollar net worth at a minimum. Why not ten million or a hundred million, right? And again, it's one in 17. It's pretty wild that there's that many Amer- Americans that have it, but there's also quite a few 17 out of, you know, out of, or 16 out of 17 that haven't achieved that. So this podcast is really just to help people see the light and encourage them that it's possible. And then of course, give them some tips and tricks and pointers on to speed this up. We got about nine questions. You ready to roll? Let's rock. It's short and sweet, man. All right. Quickly, tell me who you are. I know, but the audience <clears throat> wants to know. I'm Jamil motherfucking Damji. <laughs> Wholesale King. Wholesale King. Host of Triple Digit Flip. Owner and founder of Keegly. Astro Flipping Extraordinaire. 5,000 plus community members. And I like to tell jokes. And he's the wholesale genie. I love it, man. All right. What was the main strategy that you used to create a net worth <laughs> of a million plus? Wholesale real estate, baby. Wholesale real estate. Love it. All right. Number three, what is your biggest financial mistake or setback and how did you recover from it? And I love this question because we can all learn so much from mistakes, right? That's typically what mentors teach you is how to avoid these things. So what was that biggest financial mistake and setback? Well, in uh, 2006-ish, 2006-2007, I um I I 
overextended myself. So I got way too cocky in the real estate game. I made millions of dollars and I thought I was untouchable, invincible. And so I went out and I got a lot of leverage. So I took on a lot of lending, a lot of loans. I had a ton of loans. I was doing, I was doing, uh, um, uh, buying sub twos. I was doing condo conversions. And when the real estate market turned in 2008, I couldn't debt service anything. And it wiped me fully out. It mm. took all the millions of dollars I had made and it put me in the hole 1.8 million bucks. How'd you recover from it? Um, <clears throat> therapy. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, okay. but, but no, really, um, if, in, in reality, what happened is I, I took a break, right? I took a break from real estate for a little while. My sister is the one who recovered us. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I can take, I can take credit for after she put money back in my hands and said, okay, brother, do it again and don't F it up this time. Um, but she pulled us out of, she pulled us out from the hole. Like we had gone to negative. Uh, my sister was working with these like decrepit old buildings in Canada. She turned them around, turned them into government housing, sold them for a million bucks. And we went away. We went back and started our game in Phoenix over again. So I credit it to family, unity, love, uh, being with one another, making sure that you got each other's back, having good sibling relationships, and just making sure that at the end of the day, you take care of everybody in your in, in your in your world. Agreed, one hundred percent, man. All right, can you share some specific strategies or tactics that you have used to not only increase your income but your net worth? Yeah, I mean, you know the 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 idea that doing one thing for a lot of people being the way to really become wealthy or uh, to make a lot of money that that's the concept that's the key right if you're if you right now you're doing something where it requires you to do the thing and then once you're done you make the money and you can only do the thing for one person then there's there's no chance to become very very rich unless the thing you're doing is so highly skilled so difficult to do like brain surgery or building a you know a quantum computer or splitting an atom right like if 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 you can do that cool right then they're going to pay you millions of dollars for being that but if like you're cutting hair right you cut hair okay nothing against people who cut hair right but how can you how can you look at cutting hair in a way that you can serve more people right so how could you cut a thousand people's hair at the same time instead of cutting one person's hair well, I don't think you can do that, but could you potentially teach hair, hairstylists how to make more money in their business on mass so that you could reach, you know, 10,000 people instead of one person. So that to me, once you wrap your head around that idea and that concept of I, if I can do for one, what I can do for many, that will change the game. Exponential leverage. And it's so easy with the microchip these <laughs> days, guys. Yeah. The microchips in our pocket all day, every day. What an awesome answer. Okay. This next question is, did you have any mentors or role models who influenced your approach to wealth building? And if so, how did they help you? I'm not asking who they are. I'm just asking how they helped you. Well, yeah, I've got, um, I mean, I have lots of, lots of mentors. You didn't ask who, so I won't say names, but one individual that I talked to a while ago, him and I both actually went to negative $1.8 million after the financial crisis in 2008. And today I recovered my millions, you know, 15 ish million. And that's not including what Keegley's worth, who God knows what that's going to be, what that'll sell for one day. So whatever. Um, and I got, I, you know, I got back, I got back what I wanted. Cause I was like, I want full recovery. Okay. So I got full recovery. And what did he say? I want a billion dollars. And he got a billion dollars. And we started from the same spot in the same amount of time. And I think I'm smarter than this man, <laughs> right? So, so how does this happen? Because of a bigger target, bigger thinking, right? You are limited by the belief structure that you're holding in your life, right? And so if I only believe I can make $12 million, $15 million, $20 million, then that's all I'm going to get. If I believe that I'm worthy of a billion dollars, then that's what I'm going to get. You have to remove the limits in your mind if you want to remove the limits in your life. Amen. Amen. 100%. I love that. All right. Number six, how do you balance risk and reward when you're making your investment decisions? I um, am very risk averse. So for me, because I've been through the 2008 
financial crisis, it, it you, you never, I don't know if, I mean, of course, lots of therapy, lots of breath work, lots of meditation, psychedelics, all the things are like, okay, finally I'm over this financial crisis. Okay, cool. <laughs> right. Um, but you really, really like it's, it leaves a residue. It leaves an energetic imprint in you and, and it's difficult to get away from that. Right. And so what I've become really good at is spotting opportunities that don't require me to take substantial risk. Why wholesaling real estate is my favorite business model in the world is that I can't lose money. You can't lose money. I mean, I can't lose money, right? Unless I do bonehead things, don't cross my T's, don't dot my I's. If I'm rec reckless, uh, you know, doing stupid things, yeah, I can lose money. Not, if I follow the games, if I follow the rules of the game and I know my numbers and I, and I uh, structure my things correctly, I can't lose money. And so how, how, why would I do anything else? Right. hundred percent. I love it, man. I can't lose money. I love it. But being risk adverse, I get from the history in the past. It makes sense. That's why I also love wholesale and real estate. Agreed, man. I love it. All right. Number seven, looking back, what advice, this is probably my favorite question, actually. What advice would you give your younger self about building wealth? Um, well, I mean, think bigger. I think that was, that, that was for sure. The, the, that's the advice that I got recently. And I'm like, yeah, man, if I had a time machine, I would have told, I would have told salty Jamil that, you know, think back, think bigger, 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 bigger. Right. Right. But like, um, also it ain't that serious, bro. And you're exactly where you're supposed to be. So truthful, if I'm going to be hundred percent honest, every mistake I made, I needed to make every, every limit I had in my life I needed to have. So I could, sh so I could prove to myself that it wasn't real. I mean, it's so easy to go and look at the things that have gone wrong and been like, I wish I hadn't, but really? Cause if, if you had, if you didn't, you don't get here. And if here right now, isn't good for you, then, then you can change that. Cause we're the only species on the planet that can actually change our state at, in the moment. Yeah. And control fire. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. All right, two to go, baby. We're almost done. Number eight, what other advice would you give the audience, right? Most of the audience here is on their journey. They're on <laughs> this path to try to create wealth. And, you know, everyone's a millionaire's name is show. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that getting to a deck of millionaire or, or, or a hundred million or anything along those lines, but just being able to create a nest egg and have the, the freedom of being able to have some time freedom and some financial freedom. Like what advice would you give the audience today start implementing in their own lives and their own businesses to be able to get there quicker. To get there quicker. You got to get honest. You got to get really honest with yourself. Um, you know, nothing you being delusional and thinking you're doing something when you're not doing it. Like how many times have I had, people that I was coaching, right? They're like, it's just not working. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> hold on a second. Let's take a look. So how many times did you, did you call? Right. Once. Okay. So what are you, what are you saying? You called, you, you made one phone call and now you're saying it's not working. Yeah. Oh, do you feel like you'd give it your best? Uh-huh. <laughs> right. So it's just that it's just like, let's be on it. Be honest. Be right. honest with yourself about what effort you're putting in. Be honest with yourself about what your priorities are. Be honest with yourself about where your value system is. Be honest with yourself about what your belief structures are. Be honest with yourself about what your output really is. Be honest with yourself about what your habits really are. Be honest with your wife about what you're really doing. Be honest with your husband about what you're really looking at. Be honest, be honest, be honest, be honest, be honest. Stop fucking bullshitting yourself and other people out there and you'll get rich fast. Love it, man. 100% agree with that. Couldn't have said it better myself. Jamil, thank you for being here. Super grateful for you, our friendship, your time today. I know there's a lot of people that are listening to this right now, watching it on YouTube, listening to it, driving down the highway, so on and so forth. And they're like, man, I love this guy. I want, I resonate with him. Where do we send all of these listeners, these viewers to learn more about you? What is your socials? What is your websites? What is your programs? This is now where you tell us how we can learn more about you and connect with you. Well, come check me out on Instagram. I put a lot of content out there. It's like my main website, I guess. It's a, at J-D-A-M-J-I. So at j -G. Don't bother watching my TV show. I haven't. Um, also, uh, YouTube. YouTube.com slash Jamil Damji.
That's you've been it. putting out a lot, of, a lot of YouTube content lately, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm loving crushing it. it. You've been crushing it. Amazing. Jamil, thank you for being here. Enjoy the rest of your day. I love you, brother. Love you back. Very, very insightful. And this is just going to be a great episode for everybody to learn and quit fucking around, really. That's the main message I heard. You got to be honest with yourself. And, um, you know, we're all capable of great things. You know, you got to have big goals and set bigger goals as time goes on. And again, just be honest. I love that, man. Jamil, thank you, buddy. Later, Holmes. Signing off, bud. And that's a wrap for today's episode of Everyone's a Millionaire. We hope you've enjoyed our discussion and that you've gained some valuable insights and ideas to help you build and grow your own wealth. We want to thank our guests for sharing their knowledge and expertise with us today. And we also want to thank you, our listeners, for tuning in and joining us. And that's a wrap for today's episode of, of Everyone's Discovery. a Millionaire. If you've enjoyed we hope today's you've enjoyed episode, our discussion sure and that you've to our gained podcast. Some- Leave us a rating and a review on your favorite podcast platform. Valuable insights and, if you have any and ideas to help feedback, you build and grow please your Please feel free own to reach out wealth. to us on our we website thank our or on social media. We want to thank our guests for sharing their knowledge Remember, and expertise with us everyone's a millionaire. Today. We believe we also want that to wealth thank is within you, reach for listeners, everyone. for tuning in and, and we're here to help you achieve your financial goals. Financial so until discovery. next time. If you've keep enjoyed hustling, today's keep episode, learning, be sure to subscribe to our podcast. Leave us a rating and a review on your favorite podcast platform and if valuable insights if you have any questions or f- and ideas to help you build feedback please build and grow your